Give it up for Deborah Allen, everybody. There she is. There, but I'm okay now. <laughs> so everybody's good? Yeah. Oh, y'all look like a nice little crowd out here. Nice little crowd. Well, let me just share a little something with you before I get started. Um, I hadn't told my folks about this comedy thing, not until yesterday, okay? So, because I knew how they was going to be at, basically. So the first thing my mother says was, um, hmm, that menopause must be a bitch, huh? <laughs> it said, because if you think you're funny, I must be fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh boy, it just killed my instinct so much. But this is the reason why I didn't tell you, because I knew you was going to react like this. But anyway, so just to let you know who I am, I'm Debbie Allen, like the dancer. You know, I like to get a little <laughs> swerve on. You know, that, that, that's really how I warm up. You know, I have to get it in. But um, I'm also known as the angry black woman that's in her 50s that hasn't had sex in 17 years. <laughs> Woo! So you know how I'm feeling, right? It's so bad that I have to make at least 10 visits to the gynecologist a year just so someone can see me with my clothes off. <laughs> my last appointment, my doctor tried to be slick. I think he kind of figured out that I had no man in my life and I was using his office for a booty call. <laughs> so to get rid of me, he gave me a referral for a mammogram. At first I was kind of insulted, but then I said, mammogram? Oh, okay, that might work. That might work, you know, get another chance to expose myself. <laughs> um, I'm paranoid as hell, thinking everybody knows my story. I was listening to my playlist on Pandora, you know, songs like Call Me, Just Ask the Lonely, Desperado, Lonely Hearts Run Free, and all of a sudden this ad comes up that says date men over 50. And I'm saying, damn, how did they know that? I said, I guess they kind of made the connection through these songs that I'm listening to, that I must be a lonely woman over 50. I'm hallucinating, thinking that strangers in the street are pointing fingers at me saying, here she is, the angry black woman in her 50s that hasn't had sex in 17 years. <laughs> oh boy, it's rough. But right about now, at this late stage of the game, I really don't know how I would react if I went on a date, like what the conversation would be like. Hi, my name is Deborah. Are you signed up for AARP? <laughs> and how many discounts do you get a month? <laughs> Nowadays they say though that you don't have to formally uh, meet the person in order to be in a relationship. And I'm saying, yeah, I think it's called cyber dating. You don't have to formally meet the man to be in a relationship? I'm like, wow, hmm, that sounds good. I don't have to meet him, hmm. Not. 17 years of no sex, you better believe we gonna meet. Every chance I get, we gonna meet. We gonna meet, believe that. Oh boy. I know I'm getting old now, because I started making a list of all the things that I never got a chance to do. They call it a bucket list. I'm starting to pay more attention to the infomercials on TV, like Lifestyle Lift. This is where they lift the chin up off the floor and put it back to where it used to be 20 years ago. Yeah, you're clapping, right? You know, you know. <laughs> um, and now with all these changes that my body is going through, I just find that the simplest little things just get on my nerves. Like riding a train every day. I hate riding a train trying to find a seat, especially if I have to sit next to one of them out of control kids. You know those little fuckers that won't sit still? <laughs> it's like they had a five hour energy drink chased by a Red Bull. It's like they standing up, jumping up, kicking you, all kind of things, looking out the window and the mother sitting there not saying nothing. I just want to pop on and say, sit your little bad ass down. I think as a mother, there should be a rule that if you see a kid acting up on the street, 
you should have the legal right to fuck that kid up. Okay. Absolutely. On site. Yes, yes. Take one for the team. We all in this together. <laughs> I hate those kids that come on the train, dancing for money, you know those little boys come on with the loud music. What time is it, ladies and gentlemen? Showtime, showtime, ladies and gentlemen. They dancing and flipping all over my head. Then you got the one that's swinging on a pole like a stripper. And the hype man is going, ladies, if your man can't do this, then leave him. And I'm looking at him saying, hmm, 17 years of no sex, you keep doing that shit, I'm gonna have to take your little ass home. <laughs> God, it's been great. Everybody.